Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next hockey video, even though I'm rocking an American League baseball shirt for this video on Adam Gaudet going to the Senators, and that being a nice little sneaky wise pickup, especially particularly with the injuries they have to their forward core in Colin Wright, and of course, former second round pick in 19, Shane Pinto being out as well. Batherson now is coming back, and that's why Logan Shaw was sent down for the Senators, but I believe Logan Shaw, who's been a solid um, guy that's a late bloomer, if you take into account his entire pro career between the AHL and NHL, he's been blooming late in terms of everything. He's a guy that can be a solid bottom sixer that fills his role, but the reason he got sent down is because Goldet is a superior bottom sixer that can fill that role, so I think he also had a reasoning in why a guy like Shaw was sent down on top of Batherson being back from injury. So, let's go into it. Adam Goldet was a star at Northeastern University where he produced 30 points in his first season, 52 in his second, and then 60 in his final season there and only 38 games with 30 goals and 30 assists, and he absolutely went ballistic. And then when he first came up in his first full season with Vancouver Canucks, 5.7 assists for 12 goals. He uh, had then 12 goals for 21 assists for 33 points in 59 games in his second full season with the Canucks, and then in his third season with the Canucks, only seven points in 33 games, so he was off, and then, buddy, then he went last season to the Chicago Blackhawks and killed it with one goal and three assists, four points in seven games there, so he was off with the Canucks last season in 2020 and 21 season, but then he came to the Blackhawks and killed it with them, and that is obviously... Um, the team that he started this season with and was not so good this year, but also that team as a whole, they were one of the surprise teams that had a better output offensively than anybody expected last year from their overall team. So this season, not so much, let's just say, put it to put it to say the least for the Blackhawks, not so much success for them at all this season. No surprise early start, none of that this season, just a lot of negative going on in Blackhawks Nation. But I think it was a nice small move. He's obviously been scratched this far. But if you look at their overall team, you can put him with either Tierney um, or a guy like Watson um, down there, which is something that they're probably going to consider doing going into the future. And he's just a nice small bottom sixer pickup that plays the game really well. He's a good all-around bottom six forward that um, doesn't shy away from the physical game at all either being at 6'1", 170. Those aren't guys you always expect to go to the grid and grind areas, but Adam Goldet does do that, and he kind of reminds you of a guy that has more offense since he obviously scored 33 points in the one season, more offensive potential if you can get back to that. With the grid and grind, just the always motor-esque players like the Tyler Pitlicks <clears throat> or the Scotty Upsoles of the world is, that are just great, know the game up here like whizzes and just play the game <clears throat> to the best of their abilities and really just grind out every shift knowing they're not the most talented guys out there, but bring the great energy or not afraid to stick up for anybody. And can just be a guy that finds ways to always be involved in the game. Now, this year, it's been more negatively involved in the game as he's having one of his worst seasons overall after having an offseason in Vancouver, but then going to the Hawks and doing good last season. So it's now about reestablishing himself again, just like he did with the Hawks last season with the Ottawa Senators. And I feel like with a player with the track record of Adam Goldet, even though he really does not look good in the analytics category at all this year, um, being at um, efficiency offense 10 percent efficiency defense 21 percent power play 29 goals per 60 41 percent and assists per 60 40 percent i think he can kind of get hum into the senators and kind of spark them a little bit bring the energy just like he did when he came into the blackhawks and produced the four points in the short amount of tilts there last season and it'll be a good thing a good change of scenery for him this year just like it was going to the hawks last year from the canucks as he started to struggle there but at a hell of a first couple years to his career in Vancouver Canucks Nation, so now it's about reestablishing himself up there with the Ottawa Senators. So this has just been a short video on Adam Goldet going to the Ottawa Senators, a nice little waiver claim by them that can become a nice little player to be mixed into their team and obviously be their fourth-line center now that a guy like Logan Scholl, um is back to the minors due to Drake Batherson, um, as long as he clears waivers due to Drake Batherson be coming back and healthy, I would think Adam Goldet will get some looks now more on that fourth line as well as obviously you also have a good guy in Dylan Gombrell, but he hasn't played too swimmingly in eight games, so I could see Goldet getting some shots as well, even though I like Gombrell as a player as well just this season. He's been struggling, so that could be where 
go dead the player who slide in for even with Batherson coming back. So peace out, everybody. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Good little pickup by the Senators. Peace and stay safe out there.